Praise the Lord. Blessings to you, FCC, our online faith family, and to all of you who are watching from wherever you might be watching from. Welcome to Wednesday Night Family Night, which is also our midweek prayer of agreement. Thank you for being here. And uh, we're excited as uh, as we know the clocks will change this weekend, which means that we're very close to the return of our spring schedule here at FCC. Uh, that's right. We will return to Wednesday night campus in-person Bible study on March the 27th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. And uh, we begin promptly and we end promptly at 8 p.m. And uh, very excited about the series we will open up with this year. Uh, the Dr. Miles Monroe released a series entitled Understanding the Purpose and Power of Men, as well as Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women. And uh, this series will be led by Brother James Shumpert for the men, and uh, he'll teach for approximately 15 minutes. And then Elder Herring will teach for the women for approximately 15 minutes. And we're asking all of our millennial class, we have quite a few, we're asking all of you to make an effort to be in attendance as we purpose in our heart to plant these seeds to help our church to grow into strong men and strong women. Amen. So we will discuss this more and more as we approach the 27th. But again, thank you, Brother James and Elder Herring uh, for making yourselves available. And we look forward to what God has in store for us as we return to campus on March the 27th. Amen. Tonight, as we pray, you know, uh, I believe the reason why a lot of people are not committed to prayer is because they believe it's pointless or they don't see immediate results. Uh, listen, FCC, God, the God that we serve is not a jack in the box. You know, a jack in the box God is a God where you go turn the handle or pull the lever and he gives you, you know, a prize. That's not the God we serve. The God we serve is a faith God. Hallelujah. Amen. And God expects and intends for us to walk by faith. Here in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20, the word says, For all the promises of God in him are yes and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Faith Community Church, God just told us that every promise he's already agreed to give to us, every promise you can find in the word, it is yes. God say, is saying, yes, you can have it. Yes and amen. Amen. But we must lay hold of these promises by faith. Amen. Now, we've seen a lot of results at FCC. Those of you who attend the church, you know that's true. Uh, but we're not done. We're just getting started. And we're going to continue to pray to lay hold of everything that God has for us as his people, as his children in the kingdom. Amen. amen. So, so we're going to pray tonight and uh, we're praying that there are no more delays. We're, we're removing delays and blockades in the spirit realm because God has given us a promise and it's our right to have what God has promised Amen. us. Amen. So before we pray, uh, if you don't mind, I want to pray and play a one minute commercial, a one minute promotion of our Easter or Passover Sunday service. We're looking forward. Passover is our Super Bowl. It is the Super Bowl of the church. It is a day that God himself chose to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of his son. Amen. So we're looking forward to Passover Sunday. And again, we're going to play a one minute promotion or commercial regarding Passover Sunday. And then we're going directly into prayer. Amen. Passover Celebration 2024, Hebrew Year 5784, The Grace of the Cross, Sunday, March 31st at 10 a.m. on the Faith Community Campus, featuring the Faith Community Children of Praise, Elder Vanessa Herring, Pastor Ronnie Harris, Minister Chona Britman, the Faith Community Singers, Samus Christina Marie, Pastor Samantha Quiros, Minister Keisha Turner, the Faith Community Dance Team, Special music by artist Kay Sile, the FCC Band, the Formal Commission of Leadership Team 2024, and a special message from Pastor Jeff Galmore. Passover Celebration 2024, The Grace of the Cross, Sunday, March 31st at 10 a.m. Tell a neighbor and bring a friend. 
see you there. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you and give you great praise for this first Wednesday of March 2024. And our Father, it's with thanksgiving in our hearts that we come before you this evening. And uh, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on our behalf. And uh, Father, we receive the finished work of Christ. We honor him as our high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that Jesus is our righteousness and that we are complete in him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you that our current state of being as a church family is that we are healed, we are delivered from the powers of darkness, and we have been transferred into the kingdom of your Son. Father, we thank you that we are redeemed from every curse and that every curse is now passed over our church family by the blood of the Lamb. Father, we receive our covenant rights as sons and daughters of the Most High God. And now, Father, we thank you that it is now harvest time because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. And so, Father, we thank you that everything that belongs to us, every promise is right now, yes and amen. Hallelujah. So, Father, we thank you for our hundredfold return being made manifest in our lives today. Thank you that healing must spring forth today, not tomorrow, today, Father. Thank you, Lord, that deliverance must come now in Jesus' name. Father, thank you that salvation is released today in Jesus' name. Thank you for every promise being made manifest in our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we receive your kavod. Thank you that your weighty presence is resting upon our church family. We thank you that according to Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 15, that Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant. And Father, we thank you that the blood of Jesus is right now testifying on behalf of Faith Community Church and our online family right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that according to John chapter 1 and verse 16, that from your fullness we have received grace for grace. So thank you for a life of abundance. Thank you for abundant grace. Thank you for supernatural peace. Thank you for supernatural prosperity. Thank you for supernatural health because of the grace of our God. Hallelujah. Father, we receive the commonwealth of Israel. Thank you that wealth is common amongst all FCC members in our online faith family. Father, we thank you for increase being upon our family, spiritual increase, emotional increase, family increase in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that every plot, every plan, every strategy of the enemy against our families is now canceled by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that because of Jesus, we now experience nothing but generational blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that because of the shed blood of Christ, we have a right to breakthrough. Thank you, Father, for breakthrough. Thank you for those prayers that have been pending, that have been pending and have been pending and held up and held up. We plead the blood of Jesus over every hold up, every hold up right now in Jesus name. Father, thank you for breakthrough tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that according to Isaiah 60 verses 1 through 11, that our gates are open continually and that men are bringing to us the wealth of the Gentiles. Father, the word says the earth is yours and the fullness therein. So, Father, we thank you that houses and land and windfall blessings come to us. Thank you that men are bringing the wealth of the Gentiles to us today in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that life is easy because we're connected to Jesus Christ. We declare tonight that every struggle is over. 
Father, we thank you for the anointing and the grace for family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you that every curse from slavery, every curse from slavery, Father, all of the trauma, all of the dysfunction is removed from our lives today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we are redeemed from past mistakes and failures by the blood of the Lamb, and everything is made new. Hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name. So we receive healthy husbands, healthy wives. Thank you for healthy families in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, Father, as we switch to intercession tonight, we pray for everyone who's dealing with the death of a loved one. And uh, Father, we pray comfort for those who are mourning right now in Jesus' name. Father, your word says in Psalms 147 that you heal the brokenhearted. So we pray peace and comfort that passes understanding for every family that's in need at this very moment in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you as we pray for our brothers and sisters across the world, Father, in Haiti, in South Africa, in South America. We intercede and pray that the ministry of Jesus Christ would be exalted over these lands, the Sudan. Father, every place where you are needed the most. Father, we pray that Jesus would be exalted and we thank you for turning every adverse situation around. We thank you for sparing lives. We thank you, Lord, for saving your people in Jesus' name. Father, we simply agree with your word. We agree with your word. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem according to Psalms 122. We thank you for your wisdom where the Middle East, where the Middle East is concerned, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for hearing our prayers as we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters who are unfairly and unjustly incarcerated here in these United States. We pray for the release of your people, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for setting the captive free, physically and spiritually, in the name of Jesus. Father, we continue to pray for this city called Memphis, Tennessee and the surrounding areas. Father, we have a right to live in peace. Uh, so Father, we hold forth the leadership of the city and we place a demand on our leadership to make decisions that will cause your people to live in peace. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise your wonderful name. Now, Father, we agree together over every prayer request that has come to our hearing, to our attention in Jesus' name. We lift every request up to you right now, every name that has been submitted this week. Father, we pray for Miss Shirley and Jimmy Hyman. We pray your blessings over them. We pray for Mr. Ricky Batts. We lift up LaVon Young to you, Father. We pray for Miss Lisa. We lift up Miss Raynette Lockhart to you. And uh, Father, we pray for the Jackson family, Miss Kanita Jackson. And Father, every other name that has been called, we lift them up to you right now in Jesus' name. And we pray your grace over them. We pray your blessings over them. We pray every need is met. Father, whatever that need is, if it's healing, if it's deliverance, Father, if it's financial, if it's peace, we pray that every need is met by the power of the blood of Christ right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for every senior connected to our church family. Thank you, Father, that they are redeemed from the curse of old age. We thank Lord that, thank you, Father, that the curse of aging is reversed over the lives of our seniors in Jesus' name. They will live long and strong and they'll leave this earth when they are satisfied in Jesus' name. We stand against chronic disease, chronic pain, and we declare that our seniors, Lord, are in peace right now. They live in peace in their bodies, in their homes. They live in shalom, peace. Nothing is missing. Nothing is broken in Jesus' name. Father, we declare Psalms 91 over your church, over your people, everyone connected to FCC. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For protecting our friends and families, those who are traveling right now, those who are our way. We thank you that no harm comes near anybody connected to our church. Thank you that your angels are watching over us, guarding us, not only us, but our property in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we receive preferential treatment, supernatural increase. Thank you, Father, for restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that we don't have to fight, all because of the blessing that you pronounced on Abraham. It is now on us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that that misplaced item is returned. And Father, that item that we don't even know is missing, thank you that it is found in Jesus' name. Father, thank you that every fortune turns in our favor. Father, thank you that the blessing chases us down. We thank you that we receive one blessing after another and we're in the right place at the right time. The world looks at us and they call us blessed. They call us fortunate. They call us a delightsome land and they want to know who our God is in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we thank you for this time of corporate prayer. And we declare, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.